Hello. Today we are going to show you how to create a spur gear using FreeCAD. This tutorial is very simple and perfect for beginners. Let's get started. First open FreeCAD and create a new project. Then create a new body and open the sketcher. Select the XY plane and click OK. Then close the sketch. Now switch to the part design workbench. Select the involute gear tool found in the gear workbench and place the gear. Go to the model panel, click on the gear, then use the pad tool to extrude it to your desired thickness. Click OK. Your basic gear shape is ready. To make a hole in the gear, create a new body and open the sketcher on the XY plane. Draw a circle at the center of the gear and close the sketch. Use the pad tool to extrude it through the gear. Adjust its size. Position it. Click OK. Now select both body and body 1. Go to the path workbench, use the boolean cut and see the hole appear in your gear. Now the basic spur gear is complete. Similarly, you can also create a chain sprocket since these features are available by default in FreeCAD, making them very easy to generate. If you would like to model a gear entirely from scratch, here's how. Create a new body and open the sketcher on XY plane. Draw a circle roughly 90mm in diameter and close the sketch. To smooth the edge, select the circle's edge, apply a fillet and tick the box so both sides become rounded. In the same body, create another sketch on the XY plane. Draw a small circle around 10 mm and close it.
Use the pad tool, take symmetric to plane and extrude it to about 60 mm. Click OK. Like both shaft ends, apply a 2mm fillet and see how it looks like a welded joint. Now create a new body and start a sketch on the XY plane. Use the polyline tool to draw a Y shaped tooth profile. Close the sketch, go to pad, adjust the extrusion and position it. Select this body, go to draft workbench, choose array and use polar array. Calculate the circumference of the 90mm circle. Then set the number of elements to 18. Reset the point and click OK. Now go to the path workbench, use boolean cut and see the teeth carved into your gear. Now your spur gear is ready, complete with a welded shaft. Feel free to leave a comment or ask any questions. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more free CAD tutorials.